Good morning, world. It's 7.22 in the morning. Today will be another very interesting video. So, yeah. Well, I had no money yesterday, so I went to the store. I converted my cans into money, and I was able to get a pack of smokes for myself. And I saved a few smokes for this morning. So I'm very happy I have some of the smoke. And I got to wait a good, like, six days for my next check. Which sucks, obviously. In a good, like, eight minutes from now, I'm going to go upstairs and get my coffee. <laughs> go upstairs and get my coffee, and I made some food, so... I'm gonna get some, eat some of that later on. Probably the beginning of the second part, I'll eat my food. And I feel like eight minutes from now, I'm gonna go upstairs and get my coffee. So it's there. I'm gonna keep talking about the Matrix topic as usual, obviously. As I have Zayn's fatigue. Because I've been talking about Zayn's for the past like six months. That's why I have a little bit of Zayn's fatigue. That's why I'm gonna just focus on the Matrix trilogy for now. And eventually, I'll go back to talking about Zayn's. I talked about Zayn's a couple days ago. I'm gonna go back and talk about, uh, but yeah. You guys better enjoy this series wise I can. It's 2024 around there, I should be paying the fee, guys. And I'm gonna pay this fee, you guys will see my sacks, and once I come from death, I'm peace now with you, Jane. You're lucky I'm you're not saved. there yep so my deal for Warner Bros is 2.2 billion dollars for the Matrix brand that's my deal for Warner Bros 2.2 billion dollars for the rights of the Matrix brand so it's there I was just saying yes and I have terms the Wachowski sisters have to be on board to direct my three movies Epic Games has to be on board too, to, to, which they will, to, 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 to produce my games, to develop my, my three games. No, Epic Games, I don't have to do a deal with that. Like, I'll get them on board. I'll get them on board. But like, Cross Sisters, I heard they never want to do Matrix again. That's why I have to get them on board to direct my three movies. Otherwise, I'm not touching the Matrix franchise. And I have to, and you have to erase Resurrections from the face of the map. Don't want it a part of canon, so I'm saying. But the Ivan, yes, I don't want it a part of canon. No, but Ivan, we can't do that, man. Yes, you can. If you don't do it, I'm not going to give you two point two million dollars in cash, man. I'll just make the great escape. I have nothing to lose, guys. Yo, Ivan, you have nothing. To lose. Yes, I don't have to. I don't have to go. I don't have to go through this daunting process of do, having all these meetings and the annoying negotiation talks with the Matrix. I can just make my great escape movie with Keanu Reeves and all them. I don't have to make. I don't even have to make this Matrix trilogy, so I'm saying. Huh? But I want to so bad as Matrix has a place in my heart. Ever since like late 2018, I always wanted to do the Matrix trilogy. I have you had that day? Yeah, I had that deja vu idea since like late 2018, man. Early 2019, yeah. But because I found out they're making resurrections, I I I I decided to just do the four movies after Zayn. Zayn is the main reason why I'm starting Sky Stories. I want to tell that amazing story, but at the same time, I always wanted to be. The Play the one is Neil. Yeah, how can I have an idea for a story? And I came up with an idea for a story because I'm gifted, obviously. I have the gifts. Neil let Smith copies the one in, and Smith became imprinted to the source code. That's why he was able to come back a hundred years ago, a hundred years later. So there. Because Neil has the source code, right? The anomaly code, whatever it is. Like the source, the, the code of God, pretty much. He was the one, and that's why. He, Smith was imprinted onto that code. That's why I was able to come back. A hundred years later. Oh, you're creative. You guys are very creative. And when he comes back, it causes a deja vu in the Matrix. A change in the Matrix. That's what I'm saying. The program causes a change in the Matrix. That's why I'm going to call the first movie The Matrix Deja Vu. Yeah. So again, an amazing story. Yeah, man. Do you think it'll be better than Zayn's? No, I think Zayn's will be better, but it will we'll rival it. It was an amazing story, man. You were looking at an amazing story. Really, Ivan, yes, an amazing story, man. You were looking at an amazing story.
making an amazing story, man. Willie Ivan, yes. An amazing story. And today I might do perhaps a free video marathon. We'll see what happens. We'll see what there is. So I might watch some Midnight Edge on YouTube. And I'll just, I, 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 I saw a bit of Last of Part 2. I saw a good nine part. I don't feel like watching anymore. Story's a bit depressing. But I might go back and maybe watch, rewatch Thieves End. That was an amazing game. I like the, I actually like Thieves End better than Last of Part 2, to be honest. I liked it better. Last of Part 2 is very depressing. All these people died and all this stuff. Yeah. I'm around a ten. I'm sidetracking here. Yeah. So that is my deal for Warner Bros. $2.2 billion for the rights of the Matrix brand. For the right of the Matrix brand, obviously. But I have terms. The Wakasi sisters have to be on board to direct the three movies. And you need to erase the resurrections from the face of the map. And to do those two things. If you don't do... If, 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 if the Wakasi sisters are not on board... If they are on board, you still have to erase Resurrection from the face of the map. I don't want my team doing that dirty work. You have to do that work. And so once it's once it's verbally, once it's verbal, once once we have a verbal agreement, once I have a verbal agreement to buy the rights off Matrix and and Warner Bros. has a verbal agreement to sell the rights to me, you, that that then that now they have to delete Resurrection from the face of the map. But once they do that, I will I will go to their office and I'll sign the uh, the deal. Give them the two point two million dollars. And uh, give them the two point two billion dollars. And I and how you send the money? I don't know how it works. My guess is it's a wire transfer, right? I wire the two point two billion dollars to the bank, to, to, to the bank account. Obviously, I'll have my accountant do that for me. Okay, take me and Vicky take two point two billion dollars from our account, and then we wire it to Warner Bros. account. Obviously, Warner Bros. If they, if you guys have a code, just give me the code of 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 of. of bank well and um, i have an advanced payment system i'll just type in the, the payment the 2.2 million dollars and the money gets wired into their account obviously you know what I'm so 2.2 million dollars in the canadian money is what you have the rates don't forget that bro it's like probably a good 1.7 1.8 million dollars in american money it's, it's, that's how much the brand's worth right yeah because of the rates i could give them a bit more i could give them 2.3 if you want, I can give them 2.3, which will come down to about 1.9 billion around in American money. But look, sorry guys, my company is a Canadian company. I'm giving, I'm paying you 2.2 million dollars in in, 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 in what in Canadian money is because uh, because Warner Bros is, is an American company, obviously. But realistically speaking, the major brand is worth like 1.8 billion dollars, anyways. Yo, I what about the rates? Yeah, sorry guys, I can't control the rates. I'm, my company is a Canadian company. Your company is an American company. Unless you give them two point two million dollars in American money, which will be like two point seven million dollars in the Canadian money, you can do that for them if you want. But I mean, yeah, for Warner Bros, I can pay them the two point two million dollars in American money, which will be like two point seven billion in Canadian money. You can do that if you want. I can pay them. The, I can pay them. Uh, I'll pay your two point two million dollars in American money. That way, you get your full two point two million dollars, which is two point seven million dollars in Canadian money. It's all good. Me and VJ, me and VJ, what? We made our billions off the merch. It's not that big of a deal, obviously. Give me a sec, guys. I'm going to go upstairs and get my coffee. Don't hate me. I'll be back in a sec.
guys. Sorry for the wait. Yeah, so for Warner Bros., what I'll do is I'll pay them their $2.2 million in American money. That way they're not angry. Because they won't accept they, they won't accept two point two billion dollars in, in a game. You know, Ivan, you're what about the race? Your company is a Canadian company, man. If you give us two point two million dollars in Canadian money, that's gonna be like one point seven, one point six billion dollars in American money around there. One comes in. Okay, okay, fine, I'll pay you guys two point two billion dollars in their in your American money. Which is a good two point seven billion dollars in Canadian money. So me and Vijay will take two point like seven, two point eight billion dollars in Canadian money and then we'll transfer that to the Warnables and they get their two point two million dollars. That way it's fair, obviously. Because they're not they're they're gonna they're gonna ask me, Ivan, what about the race, man? Your company is a Canadian company. Hey, yeah guys, I'll I'll give you your two point two million dollars of your American money. Which is a good like two point like seven, two point eight billion dollars in Canadian money. Because me and VJ are gonna have to take out almost three billion dollars of our money, which it's all good. As me and VJ me and VJ what? We're gonna make I don't know twenty, twenty two billion dollars off the merch. Take three million dollars of that and purchase the rights off of the Matrix, and then and, and Warmos gets their two point. Go online, go on Google, type in the currency converter, and then you just say, you know what I'm saying? Uh, um, um, you just say what? Two point set two point eight billion dollars in Canadian money equals what in American money? It's about two point two two point two point like nine two point eight billion dollars in Canadian is like two point two billion dollars in American money. So means you're gonna have to take out two point nine million dollars of our money. And then we, we send Warner Bros. a check, obviously. And it gets converted into the Canadian, the American money, obviously. Because my, my company is a Canadian company. Don't forget that. I don't want to live in the States. I told you that. I don't want to live in the States. I'm saying, huh? Really, I even know I don't want to live in the States. The States is not for me. Well, those are my terms and conditions for the, for the Matrix deal. If Warner Bros. does not want to sell the rights, I'll just make the Great Escape. And there you need some Zara. I'll turn those movies into games too. Look at an amazing game. But the Great Escape game will not be as good as the uh, the Matrix games, some Zara. But you look at an amazing game. Something like Hitman, James Bond. Picture something like the hit the new Hitman games that came out, except it's story driven. You have something cool, and, and you also have the beginning of the movie, me and Vijay looking for jobs. You know what I'm saying? We're looking for jobs, yeah. And for that game, I might make it. I what do you, what's your idea? My idea for the Great Escape game is something like that game A Way Out. Remember that game A Way Out that Rabbit played on his channel? Yeah. Um, I'll do a thing where you can play as two people too. You can play as me. You can you can play as single player or you can play multiplayer. You can play as me or you can play as VJ or you can play as both me and VJ. You have the you have, you have the two screens. You and you use some you do some of that. Something cool. For the game, so you can play multiplayer too. So if Rabbit does the walkthrough. You can do a walkthrough with with, with with a guy he knows. You can sign that guy to a contract to, 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 to play with him if you want, or Rabbit can play a single player. I give you the choice. You can either play as me or you can play as VJ. Something cool like that, yeah. But high chance I'm gonna somebody tells I'm gonna end up doing the Major Chelsea over the the four movies on. Hey, Ivan, what's your idea for, 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 for these assets, man? Okay, I'm going to make three movies. Three movies. Okay, are you going to do a prequel or a reboot? No, I get it. Tough to reboot the Matrix franchise, and it's very tough to do, to do a prequel. I'm going to do the sequels. You're going to do the sequels? Yes, I'm going to do the sequels. Like the sequels to Resurrections? No. Resurrections is not part of canon. I'm going to do a sequel to the original three movies. Sequel to the three originals, yes. That's my idea. Are you the one, Ivan? Is VJ like the next trading? I'm like, yes, I'm the one. VJ is the next trading. Oh, that's cool. What I'm saying. So Keanu Reeves and Carrie Moss are not in the movie. No, I'll have Ke Keanu Reeves have a cameo appearance, but like he's not in the movie. You, you can't have me in the movie. He died. In the, in the movie, he died obviously. And Keanu Reeves and Carrie Moss are too old. I can easily choose to bring Keanu Reeves and Carrie Moss back if you want. But like Keanu Reeves and Karen Moss are done. They're fucking old. Karen Moss will be in her 60s and Keanu Reeves will be in the 70s. They're all fucking old. Yeah. Keanu Reeves will tell me, I'm done. I can't do things I was able to do 30 years ago. Yeah. Zara? Is 
he'll tell me that Ivan, I'm done. I can't do things I was able to do 30 years ago. Yeah, I'm done, Ivan. I can't do the things I was able to do 30 years ago. I'm done. Yeah. He's once you're gonna, he can do some fight sequences, but he can't do those things he was able to do in, in the Matrix at 70. He's too fucking old. His body's done. Man. Hence why in Resurrections, you, you saw Keanu Reeves. He didn't really do the, the fight he did in the originals. He did like some John Wick style fighting. Yeah, because he, he probably couldn't, he couldn't do those moves because he's older now. He's like 60. Yeah, my body's done, Ivan. Yeah. 60s, you're still pretty fine, but like you'll struggle a little bit with the fighting sequences, obviously, because you're like you're getting old now. So, yeah. yeah. So you want to do three Matrix movies? Yes, my first movie, Matrix Four, will be called Matrix Deja Vu. Then the, I'll make Matrix Five, and I'll make Matrix Six, and I'm gonna do three games, three Unreal Engine Five style games for the base off my three movies. Like, our Matrix Awakens, that when we did years back? I'm like, yeah, something like that. Like, holy shit, I've been looking at a fantastic collection of assets. I'm like, yeah. How much you make your games for, Ivan? I'm going to make it for, like, four sixty million million. Four sixty million? That's more money than how much you make our movies for. I'm like, yeah, better technology than even your movies. Unreal Engine 5 technology. Looking at, so, so I've been something like that. I'm like, yeah, you're going to be in the game. Yeah, me, VG, all my stars are going to be in the game. Yeah. All my stars are going to be in the game from there. How much are you going to make your movies for? Yeah, I'm going to make the first Matrix movie for six sixty million, the second one for six seventy million, the third one I'll make it for six eighty. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, the first movie I'm going to focus more on story, less on the spectacle. It'll have action sequences, obviously. I'm going to have an, like when Michael B. Jordan, um, when Michael B. Jordan, um, um, when Michael B. Jordan, um. And VJ, I mean, we go into the Matrix house, you have actions, you have, you have action sequences, obviously. But the first movie is focused more on story, less on action. But I'm going to have some action. You know how Matrix 1 didn't have that much action? Yeah, you, you, you have, I'll put some action in there, but like it's not more focused on the story. The second, the, the fifth and sixth one, I'm going to focus more on the, on the action. Put more action there and make it more. I'm the one kicking ass for more action, but I'm going to also make sure I tell a good story. The chances are it will not be as good as the first the Matrix 4 story, but it'll be an amazing story. You know what I'm saying? Like, Reloaded was an amazing movie, but it wasn't really focused on story. It was more on action. Zara? Yeah. And the third movie was focused, was action, but it was, they mainly focused on what's going on in Zion. Hence why the movie I didn't like that much. Whereas for the Matrix 3, for the Matrix 6 movie, I'm not going to do what they did for Revolutions, whereby you, you focus on Zion. No, I'm going to focus more on what's going on in the Matrix. I go into the Matrix, I fight Smith, you know what I'm saying, and Michael B. Jordan and all of them go into the Matrix too, and they fight all these people. They fight all these people, obviously. And you have something, you have a, you have, you have a, 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 a small little war in Zion, but I'm not going to focus much on what's going on in Zion. Otherwise, you can bore the viewers. Because in my opinion, the Zion stuff is where it's all boring. It's more boring, obviously, whereas the, what happens in the Matrix is where it's more interesting, obviously. And that's why, tell the customers, please, focus more on what's going on in the Matrix. That way you, you don't bore the viewers. As re, you did, revolutions, they focus more on what's the war in Zion with the machines. And then Neo goes into the Matrix at the end of the movie. And then you have a small action sequence at the beginning of the movie, and that's it. And then you, you don't see anything going on in the Matrix until, until the third movie, until the end of the movie. And then Neo goes in. And how did Smith clone all those Smiths, everyone in the Matrix, so fast? You know, and he cloned them all so fast. Yeah. I'm going to do, no, I'm not going to do a thing where Smith takes over the whole mages and he clones everyone, no. He, he, he clones like a good maybe thousand, two thousand Smiths. And I go, I go, I go to his, I go, I go to, I go to fight him, obviously. You have something similar like what you got for, uh, for Revolutions, obviously, but there's only like maybe like two, three, four thousand Smiths cloned in that area. And I fight Smith, obviously. And it might be Jordan and they, they fight other, they fight other people in the Matrix. Like the cops and all that stuff. You, they, they have their own battle to fight. They go into the Matrix and then they fight all the cops and all that stuff. Something like that. Something cool like that. They have, they have a mission to do. You see what I'm saying? And you, and you make it more interesting. So this time in the, in the finale of the Matrix, I'm not going to have me just go into the Matrix all by myself and I lose VJ and, and, and what? 
And then Michael B. Jordan and them are fighting in the Zion. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually have Michael and all of them go into the Matrix too. That way it's more interesting. Because one thing I didn't like when we lowered Revolutions was how like S Smith took over the whole Matrix. He cloned everyone, and then Neil goes in by himself and he fights with one on one. I don't I don't like that idea. Like I don't have Smith take over everyone in the Matrix. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Don't have Smith do that. Otherwise, the movie won't be as good. That's why I thought Revolutions was an okay movie. I have well, you I don't know. Revolutions for me is like a 5.8 out of 10. It was an okay movie for me. Pretty good, but it was okay. I didn't really like it when I saw it in theaters, man. I, Reloaded is a good like... Reloaded is a good like 7.5 out of 10 movie. That was a good movie. I remember I saw it in theaters, man. This movie's sick. Very entertaining movie. Story's not the greatest, but it's a very entertaining movie. It's a good movie, obviously. Whereas Matrix One is like is like is like pretty much ten out of nine point nine out of ten. It's a fucking like almost perfect movie. It's a masterpiece. It's a masterpiece of a story, Adam. It's a masterpiece of a story. Really, Ivan? Yeah, it's a masterpiece. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So Ivan, your first movie will be Deja Vu. Yes, my first movie will be called The Matrix Deja Vu. That will be the title of my first movie. The Matrix. Deja vu. The Matrix Deja vu. Oh, I remember. Yeah, the Matrix Deja vu. Or I can call it the Matrix Smith's Return, or the Matrix the one the one born the seventh one born or something like that. I think the Matrix Deja vu is the best title from the first Matrix, because that's the main that's that's the that's pretty much the whole plot, right? There's a, there's a change in the Matrix. That's how Smith comes back, and the ones born in the Matrix. That's why I'm gonna call the first one the Matrix Deja vu. The second one I don't know what I'll call that. I don't know what I'll call the third one. I only have an idea, like, f f I only have a lot of ideas for the first movie. The second, third movie, I have a few ideas. At the end of the movie, I go into the Matrix and I save Vijay, Vijay and Mike B. Jordan get captured by the agents, by Agent Smith in his base, and I go into the, the Matrix and I save them. And I might have, I might lose my two friends, or I don't lose my two friends. I don't know. What to do. And the third movie is five years later, and I have this beard. And I fight Smith once and for all, and I end the war once and for all, obviously. Like, holy shit, I've natural idea for your Matrix franchise. I'm like, yes, it is. Like, holy shit, that sounds like a masterpiece. I'm like, yeah. But then a masterpiece. You guys can see, I have the keys. When I, you guys you guys have got to do what I'm talking about, obviously. You're looking at a masterpiece of a story. Yeah, man. Yeah. So that's my deal for Warner Bros. That's my deal for Warner Bros. Do not let... But what I'll do for David Zazov, I'll give him 2.2 million. Okay, guys. All right, what about your company? Your company's Kenny. I'll give you guys a 2.2 million dollars in American money. So I'll go on Google, type in the currency converter, and 2.2 million dollars in American money is about like 2.9 billion dollars in Canadian money around there. 3 billion, 2.9. So me and Vijay have to take 3 billion dollars in our Canadian money, and then we convert. We give Warner Bros. and the wire to Warner Bros. account. And it gets converted to the, to the American dollar, and they get like two point or two point two billion dollars. So it's there. Two point two billion dollars in American money is about three billion in American in the Canadian money. And me, we just have to take three billion dollars of our account, obviously. Hence, why I'm not going any higher than two point two billion dollars for the deal. If they want like two point five, my guys, I'm ready because I'm because I'm, my company's Canadian money. I have to take out like three billion dollars of my money to pay you your two point two billion dollars. You're not worth any more than two point two billion dollars. I'm not going to do like that, man. Your brand is not as big as Star Wars. It's not as big as Lord of the Rings. It's not as big as Harry Potter. It's not as big as Marvel. I'm not going to do like that. Maybe it's just a big brand, but it's not Star Wars. It's not Lord of the Rings. It's not Marvel. It's not Harry Potter. If this were Star Wars, I would gladly give you four, five, six billion dollars. But it's not Star Wars. This is Ma this is Matrix. Your three movies at one point five billion dollars in the box office. One point six, one point five. Your three movies at one point five billion dollars in the box office. Your two games did about like a combined seven hundred million dollars, and your merch probably sold maybe a couple hundred million. Yeah, your brand's worth like a one point seven, one point eight billion dollars. And I'm overpaying you. I'm giving you two point two million dollars. I'm giving you a good deal. Holy shit! I've you know your shit. Yes, I'm not gonna do my that, man. You think I'm stupid? You think I'm gonna give you like three, four billion dollars? You're crazy. Your brand is not as big as Star Wars. Disney may be able to dupe George and and, and pay him four billion for his Star Wars brand when his brand was easily worth five point five, six billion plus. They duped him, obviously. Yeah, you, Disney may be able to dupe George, but you're not going to dupe me. I'm not going to dupe my Batman. 
my my deal for the brand for the rights is 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 two point two million dollars to make this brand. And you're gonna make three games. Yeah, I'm gonna make three Unreal Engine five games like your Matrix Awakens games. Remember that, guys? Yeah, I remember that's on her technology, Ivan. Yeah, Unreal Engine five technology three games. And I'm gonna hire a walkthrough guy to do my three my three games. The Rabbit guy. Oh yeah, I'm gonna hire Rabbit to do my walkthroughs for my game, obviously. He'll do my walkthroughs. I hope you're paying a lot of money. Yeah, Rabbit's well taken care of. I'm paying him a lot of money. You see Rabbit? All right, it's here. Matrix 4. Deja vu. You know what I'm saying? You can see him talking. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The whole world's went crazy. I can't wait to cover this game. He takes a picture of, of the game. Matrix 4. Deja vu. The whole world's going crazy for that game. Yeah, man. It looks really amazing. And Rabbit's nervous. I'm saying, like, Rabbit, just relax. Just do your thing. You'll be fine. He destroys the roles of Walker. Right? Because I paid him a lot of money, he'll work hard. He's, he's going to be invested in the game. You, you know what I'm saying? No one you see him on YouTube, he looks very invested in the game. Yeah. You want him to be very invested in the game and give the fans a good experience with the walk. You pay him a lot of money. But he works hard, obviously. There. Why? Right, when you think Matrix will beat out Zanus? I think Matrix will beat out the Zanus game. I don't think it'll beat out the movie. The movie will Zanus will beat out the movie. The Matrix movie will be probably more entertaining to watch. In in, in, in because 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 it's me in, in in a modern time, obviously, in the city of the Matrix. You have the scary agents and I'm kicking ass as the one. So it has more and maybe and maybe a bit more entertaining, but the story of Zanus will beat out the Matrix story. As Zanus is, is a is like the unbeatable story. It's a fucking masterpiece. It's, there's some similarities in, in the Matrix story to, to, to the Zayn story too when you read my book, obviously. I got some of the ideas off the story off the, off of Zayn's too, obviously. You get some similarities with Zayn, with Zayn's too. But Zayn's is a more powerful story than, than the Matrix, man. The, the Zayn's is an amazing story, man. It's a fucking map. There's some people who might like Matrix better, obviously, but I, I, I highly doubt it, man. Zayn's is a fucking masterpiece. Eretat, the devil, Wolf King in the South. The South is cursed, a prehistoric advanced fantasy world. Ephesus, the king bat of the mountains. You have Eretat's army. Imagine having, imagine a city in Barak with with, with, with with thousands of demon wolves, man. Women, children, and men in the army. They were all demons and devils, yeah. Like, you're looking at, like, little walking devils, guys. You have, like, a, a whole, like, a whole, a whole, a whole city. A whole land full of devils. And you also have the devil bats in the, in the ancient Gilead city. And Tachys and the Sapiens zeroing through that, the mountains. Look at an amazing story, man. Like Prince of Egypt. Remember Prince of Egypt? Yeah. I'll tell Peter Jackson, yeah, Peter, I'm thinking of something like Prince of Egypt. When 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 Tachys and all the Sakians drove through the Western Gilead's mountains, I'm thinking of something like Prince of Egypt. They have torches and they're all frightened. They're now in the feces the mountains, obviously, and they go through that mountain and there's all, all the demon bats are are, are live are living in those mountains. Yeah. You're looking at an amazing story, yeah, a masterpiece. That's why I, I must be saying this. Zanes will guarantee beat out Peter Jackson's own rings by a slim margin. It's a masterpiece of a story. You're pretty just to tell me, oh, Ivan, man, I read your book, man. Your book is a masterpiece, man. I have so many good ideas for your story. If you put turn this into the big screen, you pull all that money towards it. Air attack and all them devils. You're looking at an amazing story, yeah. And Peter Jackson will have such a blast. He's going to beg, oh, Ivan, man, can I direct your Matrix movie, man? I'm like, no, Peter. Oh, Ivan, you don't have to pay me like hundreds of millions. I'll just, I'll, I'm more than happy to come on, on a, as a producer for a good, like, $15 million. Because he's desperate, obviously. He wants to be saved. Oh, Ivan, I'm more than happy to come on and produce your movie, man. I don't want to work in Hollywood. I just want to work for you. For good twenty twenty five million dollars, I'll gladly produce your movie. I'm like Peter. I don't need you as a producer. You know what I'm saying? I have the Kalsi sisters who are gonna help me, and I have my seven team, and Barry Osborne to help me too. I don't need you, Peter. You know what I'm saying? I don't need you as a producer. And you're not good for the Matrix, Peter. You're perfect for fantasy, but you're not a Matrix guy, Peter. If Peter directed the Matrix, we'd probably still be a good movie. Obviously, he's an amazing director, but he's not a Matrix guy. He's a fantasy guy. You know what I'm saying. Like Peter, the Wakowski sisters created the Matrix brand. They're better for the brand than, than better for the brand than you are, obviously. They're better for the brand than you are, and I'm saying, yeah. And Peter knows he's never gonna make that kind of money in Hollywood. Hollywood's not gonna sign Peter to a four fifty five hundred million dollar deal. No. Chances are they'll sign him to an eighty, sixty, one hundred million dollar deal on average. Peter Jackson. Fifty million, sixty million dollar deal. Twenty five, twenty five million base, and he makes like thirty million dollars in royalties for the movie. On average, because Hollywood is, cannot afford to pay Peter four fifty million dollars. That's all their profits gone. They can't do that, man. Which for my movies, I can afford to easily give Peter three fifty million dollars, four hundred million dollars in royalties. 
because my profits, my profit margins are high. My, my, my movies are doing tens of billions in profit. And so I can afford to pay Peter his rich $400, $350 million in royalties and his rich $100 million salary. Yeah, Hollywood can't afford that. So I'm saying, as the amount of money Warner Bros. paid Peter Jackson for what? For, for Lord of the Rings, they, they took, Peter Jackson took a good chunk of the profits, obviously, for Lord of the Rings. Because Peter Jackson got made two for million dollars. Chances are he negotiated for the gross sales. For the gross sales, he, he negotiated for a good probably like 8% of the gross sales and he made like two for million dollars, Peter Jackson. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Because the Hollywood, the Hollywood execs, they boggle my mind sometimes. Their movie, they, they, they let all these guys take a good chunk of their profits. We'll give you like 10% of the gross sales. And you know what I'm saying? The movie does a billion dollars on a 100 million dollar budget. The movie, the, the company made a couple hundred million dollars in profit. Five hundred million dollars in profit, and they give this guy like three hundred million dollars of their profit because <laughs> they're fucking crazy people. Yeah, whereas for me, it's not a problem because my movies are doing tens of billions. I can easily afford to pay Peter his three fifty four hundred dollars in royalties because me and Vijay are gonna make our tens of billions in profit. Whereas Hollywood does not make that kind of money, the kind of money that me and Vijay makes. You know what I'm saying, I'm going to shut my camera here.